welcome everyone. It's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com with another edition for my tag art journal. I've been working on this for several months where I add a new tag using different techniques, styles, stamps, and brands. For today's tag, I'm using the Studio Katya Sunflower Stamp Set, and this fits a 6x3 for a mini slimline. It's also perfect to go onto the front of a tag. To get this started, I'm using some Ranger watercolor cardstock and I'm using the smooth side. I'm also using my Stamp and Stencil mat from Simon Says Stamp and my Misty. To stamp and color in, I'm using the Tim Holtz watercolor pencils. I have a couple sets and those are in the description box below. I'm going to start off with my leaves and to do that I'm going to dip the pencil tip into some water and I can just color on to the leaves. To get really good green color, you can mix two different greens together right on the stamp. And once you're ready, you can stamp this onto your watercolor cardstock. There's enough water to transfer the color. Once I had my leaves colored, I've gone in with some walnut stain right into the center of those flowers. Again, I dipped that tip into some water and then colored onto the stamp and pressed it onto the project. Since you're using your Misty, if you want to add a little bit more color, it's really easy to go back over with some more of the wet pencil to get a little bit darker image. At this point, I'm working with some of the yellows and I'm starting to get the petals colored in. And this is really easy. I can just apply the pencil real broadly so that I can get more coverage. And now I want to start getting some darker highlights going on. I'm using Rusty Hinge on some of those petals and again, just pressing those onto the paper. Next, with the help of my ink cube holder, I'm scribbling on some wet pencil onto each of these little paw prints. And I can use this as a palette to do some watercoloring. And now with a wet paintbrush, I can dip into that color and start filling in some of those petals. And I'll be starting with the yellow first and then adding a little bit of that rusty hinge for some darker color. And then I can dip into the walnut stain and start adding in color to the center of the flower. And as I go over some of those pencils that's already been stamped on, it will fade those out a little bit to get a really nice blend. If you'd like a little darker color, you can add your wet paintbrush right to the tip of your pencil and pick up some of that color and paint it into your project. While you're project is still a little moist from the water that you've used with water coloring, you can go back in with your pencils straight onto your paper to get a little more depth of color. And now that I'm happy with my painting, I'm using some Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Cappuccino ink. It's a nice light brown and I can stamp over top just to get some definition into my image. This is water reactive ink, so I like to do this as the last step so that it won't seep into the bright yellow. Now that my image is completely dry, I'll be using the coordinating die and I'll run this through my die cut machine. I've cut my tag from Desert Storm cardstock and I'm using the Modern Love from Studio Katya. I've cut this from several different colors of paper that I thought would look nice in a background. To glue these down, I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue and I'll just be adding some bits of glue all around. I want to make sure I cover each letter so I get a really good hold. And then I can press it down onto my tag until it's dry. For the love at the top, I'm going to place this onto the tag and I'm going to use that loop of the V to go right over the whole of my tag so that I can still put it onto the ring binder. And this is optional. Once you have all your words put onto your tag, you can clip off the excess or you can leave them to overhang. And of course, I always love some dimension, so I'm using the Simon Says Stamp foam squares to get a little lift for the flowers onto the background. And now it's time to add my messaging, and I've chosen a sentiment strip from the journaling strips from Simon Says Stamp, and I've just trimmed that in the width that I want. And I'm using a small piece of foam tape on each side so it can straddle those flowers. Next, I'll add a little bit of glue to the center and press it down in place. 
as a finishing touch, I'm going to use some metallic paints and do some splatters. So I'm just spraying some water into the wells of each of the colors that I want to use. And I'm getting my paintbrush wet by dipping it into some water. And then I'll smooth this around until I get a good amount of paint onto the tip of the brush. And now I can tap the brush over my tag to create some splatters. Here's a quick look at how my tag goes along with the other tags that I've created. I do like using the words in the background. I know they're there, and of course art journaling is a piece of art for yourself. So I hope you've enjoyed this project. I have all my supplies in the description box below. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.